Okay, so my mom, Perfect. the last bus she took was 76 to 75. It was for numbers, but it was numbers with a little bit of conspiracy to drug. And what happened guy, what, was a guy from uh, a guy from Patterson called the bar number. There was a bar, a phone number upstairs that was separate from the bar. They had the phone bar, the number tapped. The guy from Patterson called. His street name was Baniawa, bread and butter, bread and water, because he was like a Puerto Rican torture chamber or something, this fucking guy. So he, uh, after a while, they arrested my mother. They came to the house. We knew the cops were coming to the house, so the house was clean. I got gotten the call 15 minutes before they showed up. Tell your mom to clean the house, and they just hung up the phone. And I told my mom in Spanish, clean the house. I don't know what that was, and she did. And there was nothing in the house anyway, just a couple of whatever. But what we found out later on through Sam DeLuca, who was a fucking savage, was even yeah. though they were hiding the the informant's name, we found out the guy's name. I mean, we found out the fucking guy's name, Dominic. So... Yeah. My question is, like, we found out from our attorney, from DeLuca. DeLuca would spoke around, give him a week. And it was funny how, so me and you, I'm selling you two kilos of blow. You get arrested. We both get handcuffed together. Do they put us in the same jail? Or do I see you anymore? Or what happens, D? What happens is, i give you, give you exactly the scenario that went down. I'm dealing with a guy from Jersey. And this goes down in Paramus, New Jersey in the 80s. This guy offers me silences. I meet him. I buy, three, I buy three silences. He calls, he says, how'd you like them? I said, really nice, really quiet. He goes, uh, how many can you handle? I say, hey, listen, I said, you know, maybe a couple more, but that's about it. He says, uh, can you handle another three or four? I buy another three. Okay, I let it go. He calls me. Almost every week. Can you handle 50? Can you handle 100? What the fuck am I going to do with 100? I said, I can't handle all that. God's honest truth. Gets me in November, December. He calls. He says, I want to know how many you can handle. I said, you know what? I'm going to reach out. I said, how many can you do? God's honest judge. He goes, 3,000. I said, you can do 3,000? He says, that's right. I said, and they're going to be nice. 22 high standard caliber silence is very quiet. No manufacturer serial number like you sold me. He says, that's right. I said, okay. I said, I can't promise you this, but I can't handle that. I got to reach out to someone. He says, get back to me. I make some phone calls. Some shit's going through my head. I said, I got the perfect scam. IRA. I get a female Asian, Irish. Marge. Irish Marge. That's a name? Go to play Marge. That's right. Marge. That's go my girl. Go play the IRA. You, go ahead, brother. You got it. I don't fuck around. It. She plays the IRA. I call him back. I say, hey, listen, I got a woman I said I'm dealing with. Okay, she'll take him overseas, but you work it with her. I'll, I'll be the introduction and stuff, but, you know, I said... What do you want for the for the three thousand? She says a million dollars cash. I said, Oh, I gotta talk to her. She goes, Fine. I get back to him. He says, Let's do the deal. We do the we do the delivery Pearl Harbor Day. It was December seventh, I think. In Paramus at a diner we're by bus. We got the planes up following the truck. You know, we, the plane is the fox. Uh, and the rabbit is the truck, the bad guy. And he, we follow him, and sure enough, he comes out of the mountains up there and uh, meets me at the diner with the woman. She's got an attache case. He pulls up. He comes into the diner. He says, okay. He says, what do you got? I said, look, you talk to her. She's talked to him. He says, I got the million dollars. I want, to, I want uh, Dom to see the silences. Gives me the keys. I go to the truck. I open up. There's like 60 boxes. I open boxes. I, I, I think there was 20 or 50 silences in each box in, in uh, some type of oils. No manufacturer or serial number. They were beautiful. 3,000 of them. I come back out. I close it. I give the uh, key back to him. I said, give him the money. As they give him the money, 
she gets up and she and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. They arrest me and him. They bring us back to Paramus Police Department and threw us in the in the joint. All of a sudden we're in there a couple hours next to each other. Uh, he's in a separate cell across from me. What happened was we get a knock. I hear talk. He hears talk. The fuck's going on? DEA comes in. This guy named Provenzano? Yeah. We got a warrant for him for distributing major kilos of cocaine. They take me, they lock me up, and uh, take me to uh, the federal system, and uh, never to be seen again. He pled out. You get my drift?